tuberculosis. Both are a common public health problems affecting many people. What scabies is? Scabies is a highly contagious disease which preserves severe itching and a rash and is caused by Sarcopus scabii variant hominis which is an obligate human parasite. This is how it looks like. The size of the female mite is up to 0.5 millimeter. The mite lays eggs, one to three eggs per day, and um, under the stratum corneum, which mature in 14 to 17 days. Many people are affected with scabies, especially in underdeveloped countries, millions of people. Prevalence in Pakistan is around 25 to 30%. If we see our all patients come into OPD, 25% of them will be suffering from scabies. So it's quite common condition. The major mode of transmission is from skin to skin contact. And remember, incubation period may go from four to six weeks. Fomite uh, transmission is not common. It's not common. Usually, it's skin to skin contact. The predisposing factors for this infestation is overcrowding, lack of hygiene, and immunocompromised status. In scabies, classical sites are involved. Here you can see. Hands, wrist, armpits, periumbilical areas, groin, buttocks, underside of the legs, feet, and ankles. Head and neck is usually spared in, uh, in adults. But in um, infants and uh, younger children, I told us, head and neck may be involved and they may also present with the nodules and pustules. What are different signs and symptoms of scabies? Itch. Itch is a very common and very severe itching more during night. And uh, burrows. Burrows are pathognomic for scabies. Now, the general rash is basically because of the presence of the mite. It's this type 4 hypersensitive reaction. The nodules, nodules are common in immunocompromised. And anyone having severe infection, immunocompromised and uh, ch um, younger children. In uh, new nets, acropustulosis may occur. There is the uh, pustules of palm and soles. Because SKB is a very itchy condition, there is always a chance of uh, secondary bacterial infection. Here you can see. In those, those slides, we can see the uh, body involvement with the rash. The less body rash. A delayed have reaction because of the presence of the mite. You can see the papules, maybe few pustules. Babies have severe rash, remember. You can see pustular eruption of the wrist here. Pustular eruptions. 
wefts are commonly involved as well as the uh, genitalia. You can see the uh, papular eruptions, excoriations. Two more slides. Here is a burrow. You can see a burrow. It's a pathognomic finding for scabies. Usually found on the hands, feet, or in finger webs, and appeared as short, wavy, scaly gray lines on the skin surface. You can see it has a gray line. This may be S shaped or linear. There is one severe form of scabies which we call it Norwegian scabies or crusted scabies. In Norwegian scabies, there are millions of the mites on the body. It's highly, highly infectious. It usually occurs in immunocompromised individuals, mentally retarded or paralyzed patients and units. Those individuals who either can't perceive itching or are unable to itch. Basically, itch is a defense mechanism. With itching, you shed the uh, parasites. Here we can see a picture of Norwegian scabies. These are cursing. There are millions of mites, highly infectious, highly, highly infectious. So, how you diagnose scabies? A patient presents severe itching more in during night, history of contact, and classical site involvement will point out to the scabies. Remember this thing. If you see the burrows, it's a diagnostic. Fresh is classical, the history of family and itching, severe itching. For definite diagnosis, you need to see the burrows. You can take, take a skin scraping from the burrows and uh, see under the microscope mite, eggs, or feces. Remember, this mud you cannot see with the naked eye. It's very small in size, as we discussed earlier, 0. 0.3 to 0. 0.4 millimeter long. We have to 0. 0.5 millimeter long. Coming to the treatment, 5% permethrin is the drug of choice. It's applied below neck whole body and the application may be repeated after 7 days. It's safe, it's effective, but uh, it's uh, uh, may not be used in pregnancy, electronic mother or uh, children less than two months of age. For those individuals suffer, is safe, is a time-tested treatment. For children is used up to 6%, for adults 10%. It requires three-night application every time for 24 hours. Linden is usually not used commonly because it's highly neurotoxic. Benzamethyl lotion is available in government setup. It may be irritating. Clotamethyl lotion is also used. In the resident cases, 0.5% aqueous melatonin lotion is used for 24 hours. But remember, it has got bad odor. It is inflammable. It may produce uh, respiratory problems. So it is not commonly used. It's very important to address the areas which are commonly affected. The application is from below neck, whole body, all over the body. No area should be spared. Oral treatment is also available. It comes with the name of the uh, Ivermectin. The dose is 200 microgram per kg per dose. So it's repeated from 7 to 14 days afterwards. Second dose repeated. It's a common drug used for so many uh, other conditions like river blindness, uh, lice infestation, elephantiasis.
Fast accessibility treatment is very important. The treatment is applied properly a leftover for the recommended time. If there is a secondary bacterial infection, which is quite common in SKB because of severe itching, antibiotics should be used. Remember, close contacts should be treated, otherwise the reinfestation is not uncommon. All the wash, wash, all the clothes, bed linens should be washed in hot water and kept in uh, sunlight. You need to advise the patient that itching may persist for three weeks because it's an immune reaction. Treatment failure is likely if the itching persists beyond that time. A treatment is not applied properly and new burrows start appearing. Now coming to the pediculosis, again uh, an ectoparasite, a human obligate parasite, blood sucking parasite, this is the blood sucking parasite. It is an infestation of the hairy parts of the body or clothing with eggs, larvae or adults of lice. Remember, female insects is 1 to 3 cm uh, in, uh, in length lays around 300 eggs that hatch and mature in 20 days. Itching start appearing 2 to 6 weeks after first exposure. Lice are insect alive on human hair and clothing. There are three types, particular humans wearing it, capitus involving the scalp, Pediculosis humanus wherein humanus or body louse involving the body, epithelial pubis involving the pubic area. Then severe itching in pedicular capitis and both genders are affected equally. The presentation may be asymptomatic, a chance finding by parents, teachers, the health workers, there may be associated pruritus and secondary bacterial infection, which is leading to lymphadenopathy. Coming to the um, scalp, we call it pediculus scapitus. It's common among children. It is spreaded from head to head contact or through the uh, fomite like combs, scarves, heads, bed linens, etc. Itching is severe, it occurs because of the saliva. You know, lice engorge on human blood. So, in, uh, saliva is injected because of saliva, there is a reaction producing itching. There is itching, there is maybe scratching, scratching due to secondary bacterial infections. It's very difficult to see the uh, lice, however, nets which are uh, small in size, white in color, can be seen along the hair shaft. Any child with repeated impetigo or cursed eczema on the scalp should be suspected to have pediculosis capitis. Body loss, body loss, it's not common condition, but if someone is underprivileged and transient people is quite common. You cannot see the lice on the skin. Lice lies in, uh, with the fibers of the clothing, but feed on human skin. The use of uh, uh, cause of spread of the disease typhus during soldiers in soldiers among uh, during war. There's one disease we call Begabin disease, Vegabond's disease, where skin becomes thickened and hyperpigmented because of long standing, standing scratching. How to prevent good grooming and hygiene? An important. As I said, it's an uncommon condition as far as the public uh, population is concerned. The body acts of the Body lice are laid glued to cloth fibers instead of hair. 
light field of the skin. Remember this thing. What we can see on the skin, we can see the maculae ceruli, which are hemocytin strand purpuric spots, and those suggest the diagnosis of Lowe's infestation. You can see here the uh, maculae ceruli, hemocytin laid spots. This one. Coming to pubic loss, this is crab like. Remember, crab like. It's smaller than the uh, body lice are. Scalp lice. Transmission is usually mostly sexually. Though pubic hair is common sight, but other areas are not spared, like the uh, armpits, beard, chest hair, even eyelashes can be affected. Look here, crab like. Now, coming to the treatment, the goal of treatment is to eliminate symptoms, reduce transmission, and prevent reinfestation. One percent permethrin lotion or shampoo is the treatment of choice, remember. However, other treatments are also can also be used. Like uh, pipe for some melatonin lotion or carbon lotions, gamma benzene hexachloride or uh, pyrethrin. Oral treatment is also available with the name of ivermectin. So, this is the treatment of choice one person per methyl lotion. There are so many over the counter shampoos also available for this uh, pedicular scapitus. All individuals exposed and treatment of all those who are infested should be done. There should be fomite control. The uh, comb brushes and headwear should not be shared, should be washed in hot water. Bed, bed linens, bed linens and uh, clothing should be washed in hot water, 60 degrees centigrade. And maintaining good hygiene is important. Why is the treatment failure? It's because of misdiagnosis, non-compliance of treatment, failure to follow the instructions. If any, any adequate quantity of pediculocytes is applied, there's an infestation, or there's resistance to the uh, pediculocyte. Thank you.